the only list of penguins you will ever need. Penguins are the type of animals that instantly put you in a good mood when you see them waddling along or watch them swallowing fish like it's their last meal. There are 17 species of penguin, and today we're going to meet some of these remarkable animals and learn more about what makes them tick. Before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our uploads. Also, make sure to stick around to see if you were chosen to be featured from yesterday's trivia. The White Flippered Penguin We're not going to worry about the scientific names because personally I don't want to embarrass myself with the pronunciations. This penguin is very cute. Reaching only 12 inches or 30 centimeters, they weigh a mere 3.3 pounds. They earned their name from the white markings on their flippers and currently there are only 3,700 breeding pairs. They're found exclusively on the Banks Peninsula in New Zealand and feast on small shoaling fish like pilchards and anchovies. Drink up. Penguins tend to swallow a lot of water, which makes sense considering they spend half of their lives in the ocean. And thanks to a special gland behind their eyes, called the supraorbital gland, they are able to filter out salt water from their bloodstream. They then excrete it through their beaks or expel it with a great big sneeze. Chatham Island Little Penguin This is another very small, special kind of penguin, reaching heights between 13 and 17 inches. It can vary slightly depending on the subspecies. They're native to the shorelines of southern Australia and New Zealand, and some have been spotted in Chile. They're also known as fairy penguins due to their size and weigh in the region of just two pounds. They have other names too, including the Maori name of Carora and Little Blues due to their indigo blue and gray feathers. Besides their diet of small fish, they also eat crab larvae, seahorse and crustaceans. We'll look at some more varieties of this particular penguin a little later on. It's catastrophic, but not in the way we're familiar with. Unlike most birds, penguins don't just lose a few feathers at a time, they lose everything at once. For about two or three weeks, they are land-bound while they undergo the catastrophic molt. The old feathers don't fall out until all the new feathers are present, making for rather awkward-looking penguins. Cook Straight Little Penguin this little chap is a type of little penguin and inhabits the southern end of the northern island of New Zealand. Penguins are so important that there is a World Penguin Day on the 25th of April. Hide and Seek Champion Penguins' coloring is very clever because from the top, their black bodies blend into the ocean waters, making them very difficult to see. From the bottom, their white stomachs are hidden against the bright surface reflecting into the water. African Penguin These cute critters are the only species of penguin native to Africa, and you'll find them in South Africa and Namibia. There are many rehabilitation centers where on certain days of the year the public can go watch the penguins being released back into the ocean. They use their call to identify each other, ask for food, and find a mate. Bartholomew Diaz was the first European to spot an African penguin. The penguins unfortunately became food for him and his crew though. Fortunately, that is no longer the case. There are 21,000 breeding pairs of African penguins remaining. Leave it to the guys. Some species of penguins do things the other way around. The male penguin will sit and incubate the eggs while the females leave for weeks at a time to go and hunt. Females find pudgier penguins much more attractive because they know that they have enough fat storage to last a few weeks without eating. Northern Rockhopper Penguin these penguins are native to Tristan da Cunha and Go Island, and despite these little islands being uninhabited, they have little fear of humans. These penguins are endangered, and their population has declined by 90% over the past 70 years. They eat krill, crustaceans, squid, fish, and octopus. All the better to hear you with. You would be surprised to hear that even though you can't see visible ears on a penguin, their hearing is excellent, and they can easily pick up their mate's distinct call in crowded breeding grounds. Who saw them first? Antonio Pigafetta gave the first published account of a penguin spotting in 1520 when he was aboard Ferdinand Magellan's circumnavigation of the globe. He saw them in Argentina and described them as strange geese. King Penguin Probably one of the most recognizable penguins is the King Penguin, and they are found in frozen and cold places and are especially prevalent in the Falkland Islands. They are exquisitely beautiful when they're adults, but we can't say the same for their fuzzy brown unattractive babies. They're the second largest of the penguin species and have a diet consisting of mainly lanternfish, squid, and krill. King penguins will dive as deep as 300 feet to catch prey, and some have recorded depths of up to 1,000 feet. Fossils of the earliest relative of the king penguin have been found dating back 60 million years yellow-eyed penguin. No surprises how this penguin got his name, and they are native to New Zealand's South Island. 
They are called Hoyo, which is Maori for noise shouter, and yes, they are really noisy penguins. There are less than 3,400 remaining, and their conservation status is threatened, nationally endangered. Their biggest threats include dogs, humans, predation, disease, and habitat loss. Snug and warm. Most sea mammals have blubber, which helps to keep them warm, but not penguins. Penguins do things differently. Their feathers trap a layer of warm air next to the skin, which insulates the penguin, which then heats up even more when they start to generate muscular heat during swimming. Adelie Penguin When it comes to cuteness, these guys are top of the list. They are adorable, and it may surprise you to know that they are some of the fiercest hunters. Sadly, due to climate change, their food source is at a minimum. They got their pretty name from the French Antarctic explorer Jules Dumont d'Urville, who came upon these penguins in 1840. He named them after his wife, Adele. They're also known as brush-tailed penguins, and they're dynamite in small packages, having been known to take down much larger predators like seals and massive seabirds. Gas is not an issue. I'm sure it's not something you've given any thought to, I know I hadn't, but penguins do not expel gas. Humans release 1,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere daily thanks to, um, you know, expelling gas, but penguins, nothing. In fact, if you have a penguin that's farting, better get him checked out. Penguins don't eat high fiber diets, so their guts are filled with a completely different bacteria that does not produce gas. Chinstrap Penguin These penguins are native to the shores of Antarctica and several Pacific and Southern Ocean Islands. No guesses as to why they're called chinstrap penguins, because they do look like they're wearing little army helmets. Nice to know that there are so many of them and they're not on the endangered list with around 13 million individuals waddling around. They leave their breeding colonies come winter and migrate north until the following spring. They are roughly 28 inches tall and weigh between 9 and 14 pounds. They eat fish, crabs, shrimp, and krill as their beaks are very strong. These penguins are excellent swimmers and can reach speeds of 20 miles an hour. A smelly issue. Can you imagine how much waste tens of thousands of penguins all conglomerating together on one little island can produce? Tons of the stuff, and the stench must be overwhelming. For example, the Adelie penguins have been going to the same island to nest for hundreds of years and leaving their excrement there ever since. Humans have been harvesting a lot of that for ages, way before chemical fertilizers were invented. It's part of the reason why the numbers of African penguins have dwindled so rapidly. Magellanic Penguin At first glance, you'd think you were looking at an African penguin, but look closely and you'll notice that these guys have a dark black stripe around their neck, differentiating them from their African cousins. These penguins are prevalent on the southern coasts of South America, but you sometimes find them on the coast of Brazil. These guys have a distinct difference from African penguins, and that is the fact that they hunt jellyfish. These warm-weather penguins got their name from Ferdinand Magellan, who first spotted them in 1519 on his trip to the tip of South America take flight. We know that penguins are flightless birds, but don't feel too sorry for them. While they can't take flight like ordinary birds, many species of penguins can still take to the air. Just before they leap from the water onto the ice, they release air bubbles from their feathers, removing the drags from their bodies and allowing them to launch themselves into the air and land on the ice safely. Macaroni Penguin It's hard not to fall in love with these penguins right away with their crazy yellow lashes that would make any girl jealous. There are in the region of 24 million macaroni penguins living in 260 colonies between South America, Australia, Antarctica, and Marion Island. Despite their numbers being plentiful, they are vulnerable. Their biggest threat currently is human settlement, and huge conservation efforts are currently in place to protect them chew on this. Penguins don't have teeth, but they do have backward-facing fleshy spines that line their mouths, helping to push their dinner down their throats. Southern Rockhopper Penguin They look quite similar to the northern rockhopper that we mentioned earlier, but they have a subtle difference. They don't have the usual patch of pale skin just underneath their beaks. There are roughly a million pairs of breeding rockhoppers, and of all the penguins, this species was not first in the bird song department. They're the least musical penguin and have a song that can make the most chill person get a little twitchy. Emperor Penguin Certainly one of the most recognizable penguins is the Emperor Penguin. They're featured in so many excellent animated films, including March of the Penguins, Madagascar, Happy Feet, and Surf's Up. They are the largest and tallest of all penguins and reside in Antarctica. There are around 600,000 adult males in Antarctica currently, and there are 54 emperor colonies in the Antarctic. Some emperor penguins have been known to live for 50 years. 
feeling blue. Otago Peninsula is seeing a lot of blue, and that's because they've enjoyed a fabulous breeding season of little blue penguins. These tiny penguins have been quite the tourist attraction, with tourists coming every night to watch them scurrying up the cliff after their day out in the ocean. They've seen more than 130 chicks hatching this season, making them the most productive seabird on the planet, according to scientist Hiltrun Rats. Long may it continue. Before we get to our number one, it's time to announce our trivia winner. Congratulations, we're always glad to hear from our viewers. If you didn't get a chance to enter yesterday, comment down below and let us know what your favorite film is that features penguins. Mine is a classic, March of the Penguins. One, Speed Demon. And finally, did you know that the fastest penguin in the world is the Gen 2? These speedy chaps can reach speeds of up to 22 miles an hour. Oh, <laughs>